This is a pretty cool old fixture. It's got an outlet on it. And here's the uh, switch. I don't know if that's original or not. This uh, has a number of insects in it. I don't know if this is original to the room or not. It looks like somebody painted this room at some point, which is kind of a shame because the natural wood color is probably much nicer than whatever they painted it to be. And there's also this lamp over here. And there's this light, a portable luminaire from 2005. It's like a little halogen lamp. And the pivoting thing could fare to be tightened, but I don't think it can be. Now this is borderline worthless, because you can't angle it where you want it to be. But I'll turn it on here. Oh man, it doesn't even work. Plugged in? <sighs> well that's disappointing. The bulb, oh yeah, I can see the filament is shaking. Well the bulb is, is burned out. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of a lamp this is. It doesn't even look original. Uh, how do you turn it on? Oh, here we go. The base is kind of cool, but the top is uh, kind of ridiculous. And it's got these things on here in the bed. Looks like it's a stinking LED. Uh, it doesn't work. I don't know if it's not plugged up or what, but I'm not going to bother with that. And we've got this light here. This is older. doesn't work. It's kind of a nice uh, switch plate. We got this lamp here. It's a big lamp. And we got these two lamps here. Which are pretty exotic. They do have light bulbs in them. Let's see if we can get this on. Oh, it does work. I think I've seen one quite like that before. It's pretty unique. And this is going to be the same thing. But, um, oh. This one seems to have some functionality issues. There we go. Oh, the uh, outlet plates are the same kind of design. For those that may find this nightlight interesting, there's that. Here's a torture lamp, and there's nowhere to plug it up. Okay. For a separate video. Oh, I guess that's the lights in there. Can't get in there.
There's some nice uh, up lights in here. Not sure what kind of bulbs are in there. Oh, halogen. Good. That's the fan. Kind of an interesting lamp. Let's see if I can get it switched on. Ah, ah it's not even plugged in after all that freak show. Oh, oh well. There's that. Another halogen. And that one's plugged in. Same one over there. This is a neat chandelier. I think this is on a dimer. Yep. There is some heavily yellow track lighting in here. Looks like one of the lights used to be moved over more. This is the switch for it over here. I've thought about doing this before, but I've never actually seen it done. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. Well, it's a great light for the counter there. These are pretty old. controlled independently too. Three of these lights. And this light under here. There's another one of these in the closet here. But it is pull string control. Oh no, it's not one of those. Looks very similar, but it's not the same model. So light here. Of course, does anyone guess as to what quantity of these switches turns it on? Oh, that does both of them. We got two switches in here. Both are already on. That turns that on. And I imagine this probably does the same thing. Looks like that's broken. And this could be controlled independently as well. Oh, looks like it's a three-way light. In here, as he controls for the outdoor lights, hopefully I'll have time to show those later. Oh, this is a pretty sizable closet. We got more lights in here. These are older as well. 
Maybe vintage box fans in here. Ha! Look at that. There was another box fan in here. And that's an older model. I'm not sure what that is. It's old enough to be worth recording. This probably has the full size motor. Yes, it does. Oh, this will get a video soon enough. Bring this out of here so I remember to record it. Okay, we got another light over here. Does this one also have a switch? It does. And this one's also broken. Maybe that's just how it is. lamp here. It's also kind of unique. Appears to be a three-way lamp. These appear to have two different color temperature bulbs in them. 